Today we are going to discuss the practical of chemical kinetics. And let's see the aim of the practical. The aim of the practical is to, to investigate the reaction between potassium persulfate and potassium iodide. So all of you know that this perfect uh, K2S2O8. Its structure is like this. Okay. This is structure of potassium persulfate, and here this peroxide group. Group is present, and that's why this potassium persulfate is the oxidizing agent. Agent and other chemical that is Ki. This Ki is the reducing agent here. Agent. Okay, so the reaction, what the reaction happened between the potassium persulfate and potassium iodide plus Ki twice will react to each other and form K2SO4 plus I2 and this I2 is in the form of what your gas and this is a 2 so the product form between the potassium persulfate and potassium iodide is potassium sulfate and iodine gas and this gas is liberated during this reaction peroxide group is present here and this iodine this iodine is uh, having here minus oxidation state and why is iodine having zero oxidation state? So this amount of iodine liberated that is going to titrate with sodium sulfate liberated iodine that react with sodium sulfate twice. In the reaction between iodine and sodium sulfate will give Na2SO, Na2SO6 and sodium iodide. What are the requirements of this practical? Chemicals. This is sodium sulfate 0.002 .00 normal. Potassium persulfate 0.005 normal. Potassium iodide 0.05 normal. This is a start indicator. Ice apparatus required for this practical are water bath with water, pipette, glass topper bottle. Measure cylinder, conical plant, burette, burette stand, white tile to observe the color change, and funnel to fill the burette with solution. Stopwatch and dropper also. In this experiment, there are two sets of this experiment. In first set, set one. Uh, in bottle 1, we have to take 50 ml of potassium persulfate. In bottle 2, we have to take 50 ml of potassium iodide. In set, in set 2, in bottle 1, we have to take 25 ml of potassium persulfate plus 25 ml of water. In bottle 2, 25 ml Ki plus 25 ml water. In one bottle, we are taking 50 ml of Ki. Fifty ml of Ki in Ki water. Wow. 
wash this in model 2 we have take potassium bisulfate 50 ml Keep this bottle in water bag to maintain the room temperature for 5 minutes. For 5 minutes after the 5 minutes. Now fill the beverage with sodium acetate solution. Remove the air bubble from the beverage. Remove now adjust the marking. Adjust the zero marking. Now transfer the potassium percentage in potassium iodide shake it well start the stopwatch stopwatch started and wait for 5 minutes after 5 minutes we will test the we will give it out the solution this is the reaction mixture of potassium persulfate and potassium iodide uh, before we get out the mixture take the small some pieces of ice in our conical glass After 5 minutes, repeat out the solution reaction. And transfer it in conical glass where we have taken the ice. The role of ice is very important. Ice is going to freeze the reaction. Add two drops of starch together. When we observe the blue color, this blue color is nothing but the starch and iodine. Now Titrate this mixture with our sodium sulfate. What is the endpoint? Endpoint is blue to colorless. Okay, slowly the color is going to vanish. Color it is set here and twelve point six. Fill the beverage with sodium acetate again. Adjust the beverage. To zero marking yes. then 
place this mixture now again take some pieces of ice The role of ice is very important. So take the, some more pieces of ice, then 10 ml of solution. So all the reaction mixture will go to freeze, and so no reaction, further reaction takes place between the potassium sulfate and potassium iodide. So reaction will stop due to the presence of ice. So we can easily get the ready. Blue solution. This blue is going to become colorless. Become colorless, and the reading is around nineteen point one. Okay. So in this way, after five minutes, again we have to. Now clean this conical flask very well with water. Fill the pulet with sodium thiosulfate. Adjust the zero. And after five minutes, again, take a few pieces of ice and put it out the ten ml of mixture, the extra mixture, and tighten it with your. Add starch indicator, become blue color, and tighten with sodium thiosulfate. In this way, we have to take the ready till the 30 minutes. Means after 5 minutes, then 10 minutes, 15, 20, 25, and 30 minutes. Now let's start set 2. In set 2, 25 potassium per sulfate, 25 water. This potassium percentage in bottle one twenty five in distilled water. Close this stopper. Now clean this measuring cylinder with water and take next solution potassium iodide 25 ml. Transfer water to and twenty five ml distilled water. Keep this both water in water bath. Okay, so in this way you can have to take the second part again. Similarly, you can take the second part. 
In second part, we have to take after five minutes, ten minutes, fifteen minutes, twenty five minutes. Okay. So this is the overall experiment. Now let's let's see the observation table. We know that there. This is time. Ready. It is also called X in ml, time in minute, a minus x, one upon a minus x, and k rate constant that is one upon a t into x. Upon a minus x. So time five minutes, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, and thirty. So there are total six observations for set one. Similarly, we can write the observation table for set two. Observation table and same time. So here, calculation of a and the a is the year initial concentration. I hope you understand this experiment very well. So keep learning at your home. Okay, bye.